I know you come from uh, an immigrant family and have had a very interesting, you're the youngest of 11 children. Tell me a little bit about your background and how you got where you are now. So my parents are immigrants. Uh, they both came from Mexico, came over at a very early age. My mother only finished the third grade. And so for my parents, it was always important for me to have an opportunity at an education so that I could become a professional one day. So I was very fortunate to be able to put myself through UCLA undergrad and then USC law school and give back to our community. And so one day I, I was encouraged to uh, run for office and here I am. Let's talk about the upcoming election. The Pew Research Center is saying for the first time they expect Hispanic voters to be the largest minority group of eligible voters in this country at about 13%. Do you expect uh, Hispanic voters to come out in large numbers? Well, we hope so. And that there needs to be an effort to convey to the Latino community that it is safe to do so, that we must do so, and that so much is at stake in this election, whether it's health care, the economy, the response to COVID. You don't have to look much further than the mortality rates of, for COVID-19 and to see that it's impacting Latinos at a higher rate. Latino voters want to be talked to. They want to be touched and they want to be contacted. So that's the first step. The second step is we are going to have to continue to educate Latino voters that it is safe to vote by mail. But COVID-19, I think, has floated to the top right now because of the fact that so many people in the Latino communities are really feeling the hurt and the pain. And we usually are tight-knit families. We usually have multi-families in one household. And so when you talk about having some physical distance, that's hard to do in our households. And so we, we have a, a real incentive to make sure that so there is a vaccine, there's a treatment, but also that we have access to preventive care. And do you think COVID-19 will have an impact on if and how Hispanic voters turn out? I think it will have an impact. Uh, I do think it's gonna be a negative impact, which is why we need to redouble our efforts to educate our voters and our public about the options that they have. What are your thoughts on the Supreme Court vacancy and where we go from here as a country? Well, first of all, so very saddened uh, with her passing, she was a champion for women. She was a champion for equality among women, and that struggle still continues. Um, I'm I'm a firm believer that we should um, we should follow out her last wish, in that we don't have we don't have a, a president pick uh, the next uh, Supreme Court justice until we have an, another election. Any final thoughts for Latino, Latino and Latina voters out there? Any final words for them? This election has so much at stake for our communities. Think about those things. Think about our health care. Think about the economy. Think about our families and who we want so that we feel safe and secure again and that we have a champion in the White House who's going who's gonna to fight for Latino values think about that and then make a plan to make sure that you vote. Thank you very much for your time. Great. Thank you so much.